we have father's blood type we have mother's blood type we have child's blood type ah uh, hello guys this is a journey microbiologist is it possible to determine dna without going to those uh, laboratories at the comfort of your home one of the ways you can determine if the child belongs to you you as the father it is very possible first what people are uh, look at is when your wife or your girlfriend uh, started to ovulate so you can track from when uh, actually you had sex with your girl and when she started ovulating i had done a video yeah about calculating of safe days i will post the link at the description box from actually the ovulation date and when you had sex with your girl or your woman then you can be able to track if actually you are the real dad or you are not the real so this happens when actually a woman tells you that she is pregnant for you so you can be able to track uh, from the ovulation and the time you had sex uh, another way is uh, the physical characteristics between the father and the child yeah so you can look at the physical characteristics you can look at the nose you can look at the earlobes you can look at the lips the hair styling also the texture the color of the hair those are the physical traits that you can consider the most convenient way to use the, the physical trait you can look at the feet it gives a detailed uh, physical characteristic however there is a limitation to this the child might have the physical trait from your first relative you have behavioral similarity you can look at the gnashing of teeth there are some people who gnash their teeth uh, you can look at the snoring you can also look at how you eat how you talk and also actually how you socialize with other people you can actually across match the blood group uh, between your blood group as the father the mother's blood group so there is actually a chart whereby you can do the cross matching so we have father's blood type we have mother's blood type we have child's blood type we have a uh, blood group a blood group b so we have blood group a b and we have blood group o for the mother's blood type we have blood group a blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. So we also have the child's blood type. These are the results according to the cross-matching between the blood group from the father's blood type and the blood group from the mother's blood type. You as the father of the said child here. So if you have a blood group B and your woman, the mother, has a blood group AB. So your child here has to have either blood group A, blood group B, or blood group AB. If you have a blood group O, your wife has a blood group O. So this child must have, must have blood group O. If actually you find that your blood group O and your wife is blood group O, but here you find AB or A or B, then there is a question mark. Uh, early in this video, I said that this is not an ultimate a way to determine if you are the real dad. There are specialists who do uh, genetic sequencing in those uh, big laboratories with so many tools. So that is where you can actually uh, know if you are the real dad. As in this chart, you can just uh, do the cross matching to check if you have a similarity in terms of the blood type. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, I didn't do this video to give like the ultimate way to determine uh, if you are the real dad yeah you should uh, go to those uh, laboratories they actually take samples hair samples uh, oral samples and also maybe uh, the blood samples to actually determine if you are the real dad through their own speciality their own tools and more of that and they will actually give you your results and those uh, results are certified and actually they can be used legally.